Just giving you back all your energy. <laughs> what would you say if I told you you stopped using condoms? I'd say, where did that come from? We're having breakfast. Come on, eat up before your food gets cold. Come on, they're always getting in the way and we're using pills, aren't we? Yes, but... What are you afraid of? Don't you trust me? Of course I trust you. I just want to make sure we don't get pregnant. Unless you want to have children. Uh, no. <laughs> not now. I'm not ready for babies. Okay, then it's condoms and pills for double guarantee. Well, I suppose you're right. I wouldn't mm -hmm. want any nasty surprises. <laughs> Ah, Nancy, finally you're awake. But don't worry, you can sleep as much as you want. Rest is good for you. Albert, hmm? where's my favorite cup? The one with the flowers on it. Oh, it must be in the cupboard where you normally put it, dear. I shifted all the cups from the cupboard to the kitchen. Let me get it for you. What's all this? But I had woken up in a different house. Hmm? Everything's been changed. Oh, uh, I hadn't noticed. <laughs> Mama Albert? Yes? What's happened to the furniture? I moved the shelf from the window and the sofa over here. The house is more spacious now, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You see this way, Nancy. Oxygen circulates more freely in the house and it's good for you and the baby. Oh, this is such wonderful breakfast, Mother. Thank you, son. Hey, you shouldn't be eating eggs. They are not good for you. They make the baby grow very fat, and it's going to be difficult for you during childbirth. That's just an old wife's tale. Old wife I may be, but I know exactly what I'm talking about. Isn't it so, Albert? Hmm? Hmm? How would I know? Isn't there anything about expectant mothers and eggs in those books and magazines you're reading? I'll check it out. These are wonderful pancakes, Mother. Nothing like home cooking. Is there some? Excuse me. Where are you going? You've not had your breakfast yet. I'll have it later. Beautiful. Beautiful posters. Huh? You know purple is my color. If only it would have had some green on the edge. <laughs> Do you think I'd be caring about the coloring? when they give her my daughter's new fridge. Oh. Oh, pole. Pole, Mama Mboga. Poza, do you know your status, you? Of course, yes, Mama Mboga. I'm single, you don't have to remind me. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about this HIV. Have you been tested? For oh, that, I think I need to... You know you people joke with rice. You sit there joking, thinking rice is just one big matato full of fun, eh? Come and help me put these posters up. But what about my milk deliveries? Speedy. If you don't inform these people about being tested and they become sick and die, who are you going to be delivering the milk to? And it only take a few minutes and you never know how many lives you're going to save. Enyewe, that's true, Mama Mboka. If only there would have been some two or three women like you, don't you think the world would have been a better place? Now where are we going to put this one? Oh, of course. <laughs> Here. You know, Speedy, if there are two more IQ, don't you think the world would have been a better place? Did you notice? I moved your furniture back. <laughs> Thank you. I much prefer the room like this. I guess two of you want some time alone. <laughs> Albert, guess what I'm preparing for lunch? Kimanga. <laughs> Don't even say it. I know it drives you nuts. <laughs> she should have consulted us before shifting everything around. And see, keep your cool. It's only the furniture. And what about you? What? She's rearranged your cheese buds too. So now you've never had a good meal ever since you left her house. So now what? My cooking's bad for you too. Nancy, stop getting agitated. It's not good for the baby. Me agitated? Mm -hmm. You want to see me agitated? <laughs> How long is she going to be staying here? Shh, Nancy. I mean, she only wants to be here and make sure that you're looked after until the baby is born. But I can send her back home if that's what you want. No, just let her be. She's a nice person, really. It's only that she interferes. Ah, 
I guess the smell is making your mouth water. <laughs> but don't worry, it's going to be ready in a minute. Just think of how long I've had to put up with it. Hopefully, soon enough, I'll have an office of my own. <laughs> I hope you'll get an office where the good Lord would feel honored if I visited you. I'm quite interested in the old pharmacy building. Oh. But the people here say it's haunted. <laughs> <laughs> that is because they do not have the blood of Jesus to wash away the stains that cover their eyes. So, back to business. Mm -hmm. What can I do for you? You see, when I saw those orphans and the way they have been struggling, the spirit of the Almighty touched me. And, and I could hear the voice of the Almighty Jehovah Jireh say to me, Oh, Washington, do something to these orphans. Something through which people would see my miracles and glorify my name. Good. And? I have decided to open an orphanage here in Makutano. Ha! Unfortunately, my organization is more into training and capacity building. But I, I have a list of NGOs uh, that you could approach. They will offer you financial support if they find that your scheme is uh, deserving. Good. I knew the Lord would work some miracle and my idea would become a reality. Yeah, but you also need the trustees to testify to your capability to run the orphanage. Ah, that one I can get from my congregation. What if I made you one of the chief advisors for the orphanage? Ah, oh, I would be greatly honored. Good. Unfortunately, that's not in my field of expertise. I am like the mangrove tree that stays in the river. That doesn't qualify me to be a fish. <laughs> <laughs> but you can come and ask me for advice anytime. Thank you very much, Mr. Matano, for agreeing to this calling. <laughs> uh, but I have one question for you, though. Yes. Now, from uh, Genesis to Revelations, mm. what is uh, the common denominator? Oh. Well, why don't I consult the Bible? You see, such questions are of monumental proportions. Free money, bure. Testing is free. You people break bargaining for everything, eh? Testing is free. Kufi money, bure. Testing. Boga, be careful. You know you can't force this on people. You reverse around, doctor. You don't know these people the way I do. You have to shout everything for them to understand. Is a VCT place here? Yes, at the new clinic. Makutano Junction is going to be a city. What is VCT? VCT is voluntary counseling and testing center for testing whether you have HIV. Everybody needs to know. Oh! Yes, but you can't hang these posters on people's property. It's rude. So have you been to this VCT? Me? <laughs> eh, my year, no! You know, since my husband died, I've not been, uh, you know, sexually active. So what's the procedure? I think you simply walk into the clinic. Uh, okay, Nyako, what is it? Years ago, I slept with someone. Yeah? And you did not use the... the condoms? You, yes. We were both drunk. I don't know if you used them properly. Now I hear the guy died of AIDS. Don't worry. Uh, I'm sure you are protected. What if something went wrong? Ah, sorry. I think that is... Find out your status. What if I came out positive? I can't stand going in there. No, but if you're negative, eh, it will put your mind at rest. Otherwise, people will begin to wonder what is up. Uh, maybe I should go with you for the test. Are you sure? Yes. Nothing is going to be wrong, eh? Don't be scared. Everything will be... Chininga chiwere ruya Avandubore Nancy? Yes? Nancy? Yes. Albert told me to give you these iron tablets at exactly 11 o'clock. Thanks. Uh, Nancy, I have a present for you. You don't have to, really. I insist. Take one of my old ones. Very comfortable. Try it on. I'll try it on later, thanks. Nancy, you know what? I guess this one is going to be a baby girl. How can you tell? Hmm. Sons do not like their fathers. And we'll make sure that you do not try to be near Albert. He will also disturb you so that you can notice him. Oh, really? Yes. And girls, hey, girls are quiet. And they always want to be near their fathers. Hey, Nancy, I've noticed. The way you always want to be near Albert alone. <laughs> I'm sure it's going to be a girl. Well, I guess we'll have to name her after you. 
Are you listening there, Trifena? I've been looking for the answer of your question, but uh, it, I seem to be eluding me. Could the New Testament be holding the case? Yes. Do you have a minute to spare? Bishop Washington here would like to have an important word to discuss with you. Well, you better make it quick, because I have to go and calculate the stock for today. Good, good, good. I will leave the two of you to it. I could also use a word with your mother. Well, Kariz has asked me to help him, so if he is busy with something else, then I'm free. Perfect. It won't take a minute. <laughs> well, Bishop, what is it about? The Lord has shown me that I should open an orphanage here in Makutano. What has that got to do with me? Matano and I have already commenced with the registration. I need you to sit as a trustee for the orphanage. What's the salary? Oh, hmm. it's a non-profit organization. I'm sorry, I don't do charity. It's not my league. You see, most people think that young men like you have nothing to offer the society. Now, if you sit in the board, most people would recognize you as an important youth who is giving back to the community. A role model, a reformed character. So, uh, what if I offered you to be a co-director? with me as the other one. Perhaps you can even tell your father of your involvement in the project and ask him to be one of the members of the board of trustees. Of course. And I will give my help gladly, wherever it's needed. <laughs> Thank you very much, my son. Of course. And may the Lord bless you. Hey, Ma! You decided to get rid of the bad air? <laughs> no. Look at this poster. Here is a poster addressed with this message that makes sense to our people. Oh, well, the colors them look so nice. <laughs> <laughs> I think we are going to put it over here. No, you can't hide it there. Well, in that case, then we put it over here. No, 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 no. You don't put it too close to Beyonce. I need to see her from my corner as I'm working. Sorry, Ma. Then probably we just put it down here. No, no, you can't hide it there. I will put it there. <laughs> that is nice. Put it there. Celestia, you no go put it on top of the Bob Marley poster. Peace be upon him soul. Then I will remove it. Oh. Then I put <laughs> this one here. <laughs> Look at what them done to my hero. <laughs> Men need to know about this illness, so I will put this one. Not no, on my girl, problem? Beyonce. Them persecute Bob in life, and now them persecuting pictures in death. Come on, Ben, go get help. When you attack, what is this? No, I will not stop. I will put this. Ben, move it. Why are you stopping me? Hey, I will put it. My spirit. Is that the nonsense I employed you to be doing around here? Huh? The old pharmacy building will make a very good office for me. You can deduct the cost of repairs from my rent if cash is a problem. Money isn't the reason why it's still a burnt out shell. <laughs> I hope you do not believe people's uh, cock and bull stories about it. <laughs> no, no, of course not. I will believe in stories of witchcraft and haunted things the day a ghost cooks a galley for me. <laughs> <laughs> um, could you kindly take me there and open it? I I'd like to measure it up. <laughs> me? You know you cannot pay for a dairy cow before you have looked at its udder. Why don't you wait for Carissa and I to finish what we are doing? Then we can all go there. <laughs> whatever suits you. <laughs> this is our shop. You can just come in here and do whatever no, you want. I will print these posters because I have to save Lives. We don't want your stupid posters here. But you said you like them. And that was before you tried to force it on us. I hate them now. Chief, them remove Bob Marley's picture, and now they want to kill Bill's girlfriend. Beyonce. Yeah, man. Mam Mboga, you are under arrest. For what? For disturbing the peace and public order. This is private property. Mm. Ascari?
But everybody needs to know. That is why Dr. Shaws gave us these posters. Yes, they do. But you should put them up at the correct places. If you offend people, then you are doing it the wrong way. You not only covered the name of my hardware store, but you also took my farm hand to do that nonsense instead of doing deliveries. Sorry, it will never happen again. You two have been engaging in criminal activities. What criminal activities? Well, you go pull down the Bob Marley poster. And they step near Beyonce. Hey, I can kill for that girl. Well, man, but Beyonce him not have message like Bob. Bob him sing a true philosophy. Bob was not as beautiful as Beyonce. <laughs> but Bob was beautiful in music and soul. Beyonce was beautiful in music, soul, and body. Enough. Oh, my God. You don't simply walk into somebody's private property and force the people there to do what you want. Mwana Shif, you have never lost a shot to a Do the complainants want to press charges? I suppose they can just remove the posters they put over my shop sign. My girl, Beyonce, is still in one piece. It's cool with me if it's cool with Ben. Well, Bob Marley would say forgive and forget. Mama Mboga, give me one of the posters. May I go hang it in my barber shop in honor of Sister Peggy. I'm off to the market. Nancy, hey, what did you put on this one? Huh? Those trousers are too tight. They'll compress the baby and make her not to breathe. They're made of material that stretches. Material that stretches? With all the eggs that you're eating here? Huh? You wait until the time comes. It's going to be a difficult birth. Home at last. What kind of a husband are you? Albert, you should not let Nancy walk out there alone. Where are you going? Just taking a walk. Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> Don't worry. Pregnancies make wives to be harsh on their husbands. Pole. <laughs> oh, well, you know, some of these people, I've never had anyone die of AIDS, eh? They're so ignorant. So they've been working with these posters on their forehead. Mm. Cyril, I haven't forgotten about you. Uh, just take your time. It doesn't have to be today. Okay, I'll see you later. Uh, if you're planning to buy anything from Shells, don't ask her for the advice about her clothes, eh? Look at how that cat is so short. You'd think potatoes are getting out of fashion, huh? She's mm -hmm. always a nice girl. All of us guys are always jealous of Carice. Mm. Dr. Charles, can I talk to you for a minute? Aren't you supposed to be resting at this stage of your pregnancy? Oh, don't you start. I swear if I have one more person telling me not to do this, not to do that, I'll miscarry. I'm sorry. Do you have any vacancies for someone to work at the pharmacy here? They are proving very difficult to fill. You know, we are waiting for someone from the ministry to be brought up here. Oh, let me solve your problem then. I'm desperate to get out of the house. Oh. Can I start now? Just bring your papers and testimonials tomorrow. I'll be here first thing. You won't find such a good office for that prize anywhere else. And once we've repaired it, it will look marvelous. Can I just have a look inside? Sure. Hey! <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Those are rats. They like abandoned places. <laughs> Let's hope you're right. So, what did Bishop Washington want with you earlier on? He and I have this idea of starting an orphanage for the kids. That's so thoughtful of you. Octano families are full of lazy sons. They should copy you. Uh, we need some help, though. How much money do you need? I want to make it on my own two feet without necessarily having to rely on Dad. Your father's money belongs to the whole family. Use it. It's there. Well, if you insist. Uh, we'd also like to use some of the rooms behind the shops uh, as hostels. Consider it done. And if you could talk to Dad uh, to give us his signature and become one of the trustees. You go talk to your father. Why are you always avoiding him? I want to make it in life without begging him to accept me. <laughs> 
I tell you, <laughs> if there are any ghosts in there, then we shall have to show each other who, who can scare the other one more, me or them. <laughs> it's very good, I'll take it. Yes! It's gonorrhea! <laughs> it's gonorrhea, it's only gonorrhea! <laughs> uh, what is so good about gonorrhea? I think I have to go back and check on my stool. Nonsense, eh? You promised. And the sooner we go in, the sooner we go out. You didn't even let me wear my shoes. What shoes? Mm. These ones are okay. With a little bit of painting and they'll be fine. Mm. Here's the letter with the signature. My father agreed to be one of the trustees. Mm. And I assume that uh, you have the license sorted? Ah, just a matter of formality. The sooner we start looking after these poor children, the better. And for you, my son, you're such a good boy. <laughs> Have you ever thought of being saved? Why would I want to do that? Hmm. You wait until God whips you. Then you'll run to him. Look at me. Life hit me. I ran to him. You know what, Bishop? Nothing in life can go wrong for Charisma Buki. Hmm. Nothing. Hmm. <laughs> no, I have just brought a friend. Well, I'm worried about my HIV status. <laughs> uh, you know, it's been long years since I held hands with a man. I can say that my boyfriend and I can't keep our hands off each other. In my life? Only that horrible husband of mine. Hey, don't make me add them up. And anyway, they're in my past. This is my future now. So you say I put one drop of blood, and then after a few minutes I see one blue line rise. That means I'm negative. And two lines means I'm positive. Okay, I understand. Okay. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I ask no questions. No. <laughs> Ooh. Can I just go now and not have this taste? No, 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 no. I think I'm ready. I want to do this now. Okay, let's do this today. Uh, did you enjoy your walk? Very much so. I went to the health clinic. Nothing wrong, I hope. On the contrary, I got myself a job working at the pharmacy. Wow, congratulations. But Nancy, you should not be working when you're like this. Hmm? What if you breathe those chemicals in the hospital and they affect the baby? Hey, Albert, you're going to have a child who is a juakalulu, half genie, half I don't know what. That's enough! I appreciate your heart is in the right place, but I can't take your interference any longer. Hey, Nancy. Why did you tell me that I was bothering you? No, you're not a bother, Mother. Albert, go and book for me the 9 o'clock bus. I'm going back home. You don't have to leave. Just stop meddling in everything. I understand. Believe me. I'm an old-fashioned woman. I should not have interfered with a dot-com like you. But I was only trying to help. Mother. You should have said something, Albert. Instead of you letting me make a fool of myself, take me to the bus station. But it's a long journey, Mother. I have a baby sweater to finish. It will occupy me. <laughs> oh, my God, I can't believe it. I'm negative. Oh. I'm negative. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming with me. I feel like a huge weight has been lifted off my shoulders. <laughs> you can't imagine. Let's go to the pub and celebrate. No, 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 no. I, I have to close my stall. Okay, make it quick. I'll see you in there. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 